Uh, welcome, I'm Stu from ATB Shop and we've been mountain boarding for 20 years plus. Uh, as a shop we do lots of other different sports but mountain boarding has always been the core and the original start of the shop. Now we've started playing around with the electric stuff in the last couple of years and it's taken our imagination and now we want to play with it lots more. But so everything else we do here then we've got snow, water sports, scooter, skate, everything but we're always about customizing and setting up the product for exactly for what the customer wants and needs so we're based here in Swindon which is always a bit of the middle of the country but it's great terrain around here for riding on all different stuff so snowboarding gear then we do every bit hardware so snowboards bindings boots clothing outerwear so we do everything from a pair of socks to full avalanche gear so we always try and do everything that we use ourselves because everything that we sell and every board, scooter, kit, etc., all of us here then ride ourselves. It's the same with the mountain board and electric stuff. Then we've been riding it, beating it up, breaking it, fixing it, working out what works so that we can offer the customer what they need. And if they don't know what they need, then we can take them for a ride work out what's staying. So I wish I could do that with the snowboards, but until they build the snow dome here, I can't really take a customer for a ride around the block to uh, show them what it's like. I first got involved in mountain building before we started the shop. Uh, I saw it on TV back in the mid nineties um, and was like, that looks fun. I can do that around the corner. And the first thing we did was buy some boards and ended up importing them into the UK because there was none here. Uh, and the, more, the shop kind of grew from that, uh, outwards and outwards and outwards. And mountain boarding in the early 2000s was growing at an exponential rate and the amount of more companies coming in, riders coming in, terrain being ridden, the level of riding coming in is exactly kind of what I'm seeing now in the electric mountain boarding. Like it dipped off and that mountain boarding was nowhere near as popular as it was 10, 15 years ago. Uh, but the electric side of it, it's coming back, it's nowhere near at the same levels, but people are starting to ask for the equipment more. They're starting to push the limits, which is then bringing in at the moment, the, the garage construction, the backyard construction, people designing decks and building them in their garages and then producing a few extras, which is all the stuff which is great to kind of push the manufacturers to get on and do it. Years ago, uh, alloy wheels on mountain boards didn't exist. And then there was a small engineering company that decided to sell them at really high prices and people bought them. Suddenly then the next year, all the mountain board manufacturers started releasing alloy wheels. So it's kind of like the individual stuff pushing that niche of a niche really starts pushing it back into the mainstream, into the manufacturers in producing it and bringing stuff out then, which is then priced better for the consumer and perhaps easier, more reliable, uh, et cetera, to get hold of rather than it being in super short supply. So it, it's definitely in the last two years, then I've noticed the up increasing, like we have to stock more of the wheels, the tires, the tubes, the trucks, etc., to have stock for people that are not just building it for downhill, but building it for electric, that are also phoning up to us and saying, I'm doing this. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. Uh, you're gonna need this, this, and this to go with that board and how you're joining it all together and making it happen. But at the moment, like, realistically, I look at electrics in different spaces. So there's an electric mountain board, but then there's a lot of all-terrain electric boards, which aren't really all-terrain, they're gravel tracks, they're cruising around town with bigger wheels. Um, and that market at the moment, I think is starting to, to understand and the electric mountain boarding market and off-road electric riding is only just starting to grow as guys that are coming into it from a mountain board downhill background are sh kind of showing the way of like, yes, you can ride this. The equipment is suddenly ready. We'd been testing boards with say Tramper for quite a few years where they'd come along and be like, this is the latest board, these are really amazing. And we'd take it for a ride and we're like, yeah, it's fun, but it can't quite do everything I want it to do. Last year, that changed. We had finally managed to sort out 
go for a proper ride on the newer end of the scale where it's not such a high end top speed, but it's got the torque to get you where you need to go. In which case, suddenly all the downhill guys were like, I can do that, what I wanna do with that board, now I can do it. And it's like, yes, we're gonna break a lot of stuff doing that, but the board is effectively now able to do what we'd want it to do. And up till that point, it was just sort of slightly a novelty to be able to go for a long ride on tarmac, gravel tracks, etc. But to suddenly stop doing proper off-road woodland riding, free riding, and point the board where you want to go and it will take you there, that was the big change for us. And for, let's see, our team riders, if you like, our friends, as we normally refer to them, um, that we've been riding with downhill for years, suddenly it's like, no, that's needed. It's an expensive purchase. It's not like a 500 quid downhill board. You're going to be spending two and a half grand for a setup, but it's so much fun. And that's the difference. The minute you take people out on it, the, the, the penny drops of like, I can go where I want with this and I can go riding for a couple of hours and absolutely have a blast. So that's where the electric guys come in. And I say, at the moment, it's still a little bit differentialed between all-terrain boarding and mountain boarding but I think there is a big difference in the book bo the board riding and I said that's the bit I'm seeing the growing now the mountain boarding side of it that people are pushing the limits I hope the future will be brilliant and we'll sell lots of electric mountain board gear for people but for us at the moment then obviously we've partnered with Tramper for years upon years probably getting on for nearly 20 years that we've worked with them on the downhill stuff. Their product has answered our questions. Their product has done the job that we want it to do for the majority of things. But you can't have one product looking after the entire market. The customers always want to customize everything. And that's kind of what we're able to do. So we're sort of specializing in, say, taking Tramper product and taking MBS products, any other boards out there, manufacturers of decks, trucks, wheels, what things will work together with what other ones, and building those custom completes or modifying somebody's board that they've already got and making, right, so you've got that, it's not doing what you want it to do. Okay, so you keep your motors, keep your speed controllers, switch to this, switch to that, change stuff around, you're gonna get the performance that you want out of the board and I say it's the the off the shelf product that Tramper offers us at the moment then we can specify that any way you want how you want it and produce it and like you're ready to ride but then if you don't want those bindings you don't want those tires you don't want the anything else you want to switch and change you want the speed controllers in a different place etc that's where we're focusing as a business to be able to integrate the whole mountain board market around electric that the product is there you could always fit back at the start of mountain boarding nobody rode a bog standard board because mbs made good trucks another company made good bindings um, you never put the same things together somebody might do better bushings than the other and you're always customizing just like skateboarding skateboards you buy a complete when you start then everything is custom and that's kind of way i think mountain boarding is going with the electric stuff is like yes buy that off the peg item it's gonna do you proud but you're gonna want to change it you wear out tires, you wear out everything else on the boards. And in which case, making sure the quality of product is there is the bit we're gradually moving forward with. So certain ones, so somebody phones up, I'm wearing through my tires like crazy, what do I need to do? Right, you need these tires, you need those tires. You, you're, what are you riding? You're riding road, you're riding mud. What do you want to do? And I say that's the balance we're playing at, at the moment using product that we've always sold, MBS, Tramper, Scrub, Raid, Keo, all the different mountain board gear. Plus, obviously there's a number of new suppliers coming in with the electric components that we're still looking at more and more options. And I think it's a, a bright new world that we can kind of bring these things together under one roof 
um, and we're set up as a shop that customers can walk in and we can rebuild it, get it ready, do it and sort it out for them.